In this video, I'll walk you through the setup of the sequencing reaction that you'll complete after inverse PCR. This sequencing reaction will allow you to identify the insertion site of your P element by giving you the sequence of bases directly adjacent to the end of your P element, which you can then compare to the genomic sequence stored in Flybase. Okay, so the result of inverse PCR was many copies of this segment of DNA. The segment includes the end of your P element, followed by the adjacent genomic sequence, followed by the restriction site used in the digestion step of inverse PCR, followed by the central P element DNA. It is this sequence that we want to find out. So we'll take this amplified segment and add to it a single sequencing primer that anneals toward the end of the P element, extending toward the adjacent DNA sequence. Through the use of fluorescently labeled DDNTPs, the reaction produces a series of DNA molecules of different lengths, making the sequence of bases deducible after capillary electrophoresis. The result will come in the form of a chromatogram or a FASTA file, each showing you the sequence of bases built forward from your primer. One thing to keep in mind is that the Sanger sequencing method does not produce a perfect sequence from the start of the primer moving forward. Often, the first 20 to 30 bases of the sequence cannot be resolved. Because of this limitation, the sequencing primer needs to anneal far enough into the P element that the resulting sequence still contains the ending sequence of your P element. That way, you can confidently deduce the first genomic base adjacent to your P element. One other thing to keep in mind is that you will complete a sequencing reaction for both ends of your P element. The sequencing primers you use will be specific to either the 5' prime end or the 3' prime end of your P element. So those are the basics of how you'll use Sanger sequencing to deduce the base sequence of your inverse PCR product. In the next few videos, I'll talk you through how to interpret a FASTA file to learn more about your P element insertion.